I know I really know Michaela. And welcome to Kumu Fat News. Today's video has been requested. Kind of surprised me. It came through my email from a Mr. Walter Afala in Texas, uh, whose family was deep in the hula community. However, he wasn't a hula dancer, but he appreciates it and requested this video. And this is taking us to the 1986. This is the farthest that we're going back. 1986, Mena Vaima Puna under the direction of Kumula Daryl Luke Nui. Uh, and, you know, for those of you that don't know, uh, the late Daryl Luke Nui uh, had a huge halal in the Kane and the Wahine side. And a lot of famous names today come from this hula line, such as Chinky Mahoy, Mark Kelly Omalu. Um, Derek Nuuhiva, yeah, they all danced for him at one point in their lives. And a lot of, you can see a lot of that creativity and innovation come out in their dances that comes from their crew move. So without further ado, let's enjoy this presentation of Vaima Puna's Moloka'i, Ia Moloka'i. Vaima Puna. Daryl took an absence in his tummies last year, but they're back this year. And of course, he loves these fierce Moloka'i chants. I, we expect to see a wonderful display of his cunning. His choice Kahiko number talks again of Moloka'i and Melly takes to the district of Kualapu'u Moloka'i during the Makahiki Festival. The games performed are Huki Huki, Tug of War, Ka'iye, Spear Throwing, Ka'ona, Fencing, and
Wow. <laughs> wow. That was awesome and amazing. I remember watching, I wasn't, I was only three years old, but I remember watching a video of this before. Um, and I did a lot, I watched a lot of videos on, on by Ma Puna. Um, one I especially like is when they did um, Nokia no Ahi Ahi. But besides that, back on topic, to back on topic. It was a long presentation. And I believe, maybe someone can correct me, in, in the early days of Mary Monarch, like even in this time, the 80, 86, they did like a kai, a supporting kahiko, like a like a lead into kahiko, then the main kahiko, and then their hoi. Because that's what it seemed like. They they did their kai, then they went into a molo kai number, then they picked up the kala out, and then they did the huki huki and the pa ihe and the hakoko and all of that which was seemed like it ended and uh, seemed like it was after like that pre kahiko that they did like I, I call it a supporting kahiko that leads into the main kahiko because they ended the first one they picked up the color out they did a kahe for the next melee and so i don't know the fact sheet i don't know this melee in particular but i'm i'm not sure if that's how the melee was written I'm not sure if they that was how it was because I remember um, seeing older videos and they did that like one melee that supports and leads into your main melee and then your hoi because this one was it's like the even the announcers didn't know that they weren't done yet like that was their hoi what they did when they ended it with the poom the guy on the ground and the guy on top but that creative and innovative presentation by Kumu Jarulupunui and that's why that trickles down into his haumana and then his haumana haumana right Let, let's talk about that a little bit right his haumani haumana chinky mahoy um you can see this vaimapuna style in chinky style of course there's vaimapuna and the kawaii ula style then you take from chinky you go to uh, Kelly Iputowski, Kavai Ula Okala. You can see that Kavai Li Ula, you can see that Vaimapuna, but you can also see that Kelly style in there. They, they, they all combine like this with each of their own little flares. Uh, then you can take a look at um, Vaimapuna, Tunavai Eha Opuna, which was uh, Thaddeus and O'Brien, right? And then when Thaddeus passed away, it was Kekai Kahiki that was still O'Brien. And then one of his Hamana that's still active, um, Iliahi Paredes with his halau, kikua kalau au ala Iliahi and Maui. He also has that Vaimapuna flair in there, the Vaimapuna, Navai Haopuna, Kikayo Kahiki, and his own flair in there. It's amazing, you know, and that's why um, they call it the reverent lineages. Yeah, keeping the lineages alive through these um, 
to hula. But this melee, amazing. You know, everything that the late Kumuhula Jawalupunui did, everything that he touched was, was filled with creative juices and innovation. And that carried on for years and years and still carries on to this day. Just thank you, uh, Walter, for this um, request. It was an amazing presentation. I want to do more, show you more of um, these old school tapes too from Vaimapuna and even other halal because if I can get my hands on those tapes and, and, and convert it to YouTube like this person did, I got to mahalo this person. I'll, I'll put the original link in there. Momi Raposo, um, she posted this four years ago. If I can get my hands on some of these tapes, like when I was at UH, they had every single Mary Monarch on VHS or whatever. And oh, to get that into YouTube today would be amazing so that we can look at it, we can learn from it, and we can talk about it. But again, this was the 1986 Menavai Maapuna, uh, the late Kumuhula Jaulupunui, his presentation of Iamoloka'i at the Mary Monarch Festival. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Please stay safe, stay healthy. And until next time, Mekapaulele Palena Ole. Aloha.